In times of crisis, women, girls and other vulnerable groups are more at risk of gender-based violence. In Somalia, 97% of reported cases of gender-based violence are women and girls, and 78% of these are internally displaced people. Protracted conflict, as well as recurrent drought and floods, inequitable gender norms and harmful traditional practices intensify the prevalence of gender-based violence. Intimate partner violence is the most reported form of GBV. Although 98% of girls in Somalia undergo female genital mutilation in its worst form, they also experience early marriage, sexual violence and denial of opportunities and resources. There is, however, a widespread culture of denial about these issues facing women and girls, and reported cases are only the tip of the iceberg since fear of repercussions and cultural stigma deter many survivors from seeking support and redress. The Somalia GBV Working Group consists of UN, international and local NGOs and government authorities who aim to coordinate efforts towards preventing and responding to gender-based violence. With the aim of improving coordinated and holistic approach for the recovery of survivors and reducing the prevalence of incidents, the working group developed a three-year strategy. The strategy is tailored for the different contexts in Somalia, ensuring both emergency outreach and systems building approach. The FCM should be abandoned because it's not an Islamic requirement. What's the benefit? I don't know any benefit. Just it brings damage and violated the human rights and dignity of the girls and the women. So we should stop that. Despite the seemingly intractable nature of GBV in Somalia, the GBV Working Group has seen significant successes. ولكن <laughs> These successes, however, remain fragile and cannot be sustained without a long-term commitment on funding. The international community and the Somali people must work together to support survivors and create sustainable change for Somali women and girls. <laughs>